Hello again. Um, I wanted to share some hand applique techniques with you today. I think most of you know how to do fusible applique and machine stitch, you know, around the edge on it. But there's something about that turned under edge that I really like. So I'm going to share different ways to get that effect. Um, as we come up a little closer here, you'll see these large stone shapes. And there's actually a thin piece of batting, or you can use flannel, either one, um, because I wanted them a little bit poofy. Now what I do when I want the edges finished before I'm going to stitch is to lay two pieces of fabric on top of each other. And I've stitched around a scant quarter of an inch. Then I pulled the backing up and slid it. So you can see it slid. So we would just take and turn it at this point. And then I like to run my finger around these edges to push them out nice. And I would go to the iron and um, get these pressed. And then it's going to go on here and I will stitch it down. That's what I did with all of these. They've all been stitched down. Now, let's say that that's a facing method. I, that's what I would call that. Um, <clears throat> you want to, uh, you have a, a particular shape and you want some stability. This is a piece of freezer paper that's been pressed to the back side of the applique fabric. I've cut beyond a quarter of an inch. Now I'm going to take and fold. I'm pushing against that freezer paper. And I would do that the whole way around. And what I've done, and I think you can see that, see there's a memory where I folded it. So now when I have it on my fabric and I go to um, on the background fabric to stitch it into place, I can take and bring up my needle. There we go. And I can use the needle as a tool, not only to carry the thread, but to turn under the edge. And this technique works really well. You do have to take the paper out though when you're finished, which I will show you. So this is what I would do all around the edge. And right here, there was a little bit poking up right there. I use my needle and I just pull it back against the paper. So this needle becomes a tool. And I like milliner's needles, size nine or 10, because they're longer needles and they work better as a tool than the little short applique needles. Maybe I just have bigger hands, I don't know, but the bigger needles don't work as well for me. Okay, once this was finished, what I would do is go in and slit right here behind that rock and pull out the paper. Now, let's say you don't want to mess with um, freezer paper. Then I have um, another applique shape here, and I'm just going to freeform, fold under these edges. And you can see I'm just pinching them. So I'm going along pinching quarter inch, I won't go around the whole thing right now because I want to show you what I'm going to do here. So when I get ready to start, um, again, my needle comes from underneath and I have a knot tied. So, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't catch it. Now 
I want Val to be but to get in here. So I'm gonna, I've got the edge turned under. And the thread, see, you can see the blue thread coming out. I put my needle right where the thread comes out, take my stitch through the back, bring the needle up again, and I'm always putting my needle right where the thread comes out. My goal is to not have that thread show when I take the stitch. If I, and I'm gonna go and take one up here so I can do a bad stitch for you and you'll know what it looks like. See how that blue thread shows there? That's because my needle was up here when it entered. It should have been right here. So I'm gonna do another one where I I like to have the needle right where the thread came out and take my stitch. And I have a better chance of those stitches not showing. And, you know, everybody will get their own rhythm with um, this kind of technique. And you'll also find what you, what technique feels good to you. Um, I have tried so many different techniques. So I would say, <laughs> the voice of experience, this is what works for me, but you're gonna to have to find out what will work for you. So thank you.